February 1972, President Richard Nixon became the first sitting U.S. president in history to visit China. The visit was a major step in restoring diplomatic relations between China and the U.S., which had not existed since 1949, when the Communists originally seized power in the country following a brutal civil war with the Nationalists. As a result of the end of the conflict, the Nationalists were forced to flee to the island of Taiwan, where they set up a government which the United States decided to recognize as the sole and legitimate government of China. This visit in 1972 was not possible without the role of National Security Advisor Henry Kissinger. Pictured here, Henry Kissinger had fled Germany in 1938 following Hitler's rise to power. He served in the United States military during the Second World War. After graduating from Harvard University in 1950, Henry Kissinger began his political life, and by 1969 found himself in a role as National Security Advisor to President Nixon. One of President Nixon's biggest concerns was ending U.S. involvement in Vietnam which by the time he became president had grown increasingly unpopular and massively expensive. President Nixon chose a path that sought to improve relations with the Soviet Union and actually open relations with China. This way, he thought, both these countries, which supported North Vietnam, could hopefully pressure the North Vietnamese and force them to the peace talks to end the war. By the time Richard Nixon entered the White House, relations between the Soviet Union and China, once close allies, had deteriorated to such an extent that by 1969 both countries were engaged in bloody border skirmishes. Following a bit of ping-pong luck, the Chinese invited Henry Kissinger on a secret visit to China in July 1971, and after successful talks, Nixon finally visited China. This opened relations and had massive consequences on China's role in the economic and political situation of the international community. Although a controversial figure Henry Kissinger and his role in opening relations with China will surely be remembered as one of the most significant, if not the most significant, accomplishment of his entire political career.